Hey guys, uh, so listen y'all, there is, <laughs> I'm about to break down the whole story of uh, Gael and Ghana Mwit, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, because baby, this tea is hot and it involves a lot of people and a lot of parties and uh, it's, it's really crazy. By the way, hi, I am Smarty, and this is Sa Majesty Reacts, where we dive into the happenings in the Cameroonian entertainment industry. So if this is your first time joining us, please click on the subscribe button below, turn on post notifications, so you get notified each time we post new content on this channel. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel, and let us know in the comment section what you think. No one. Here are some uh, music videos that I forgot to talk about in the last episode that you should check out. We had a Rush for Cash, a collaborative project by Gomez featuring artists like Sisol, Kamini, and a host of others. I'm on the rush for cash. We also had Vanessa by Cameroonian artist signed to Can Quintus Music, Remy. We had the music video for the song Last Last or Last Last by TZ Pajak. We had Kamini in her brand new single entitled Them. Blah blah blah, Nadia Mo. Anywhere I go, they go use their eyes to shoot me down like a people. And we had Animal or Animal by Array Gina. <laughs> So those are some five um, music videos that you should check out on YouTube. And I know that's not why you're here. You're here for the real juicy juice. So take a look at these clips and we'll be right back. So listen, Gael is the team manager of the female uh, national team. I don't really know much about sports and football and all of that good stuff, but let me try to break this down. So she tendered her resignation letter on the 4th of November 2021 to the head of uh, Feka Foot, Mr. Seidu Mbombo Njoya. People are suspecting that it has to do with the political atmosphere because right now there is a campaign for who is going to run uh, as or who is going to become the president of the Feka Foot. The guy in question, uh, Mr. Bombonjoya, is running as well as Samuel Etofis. So there are a lot of problems and politics going on in that Feka Foot thingy. But that's not our concern here, right? Um, the resignation letter is signed 4th of November 2021. The moment um, that surfaces online, a few hours later, explicit videos of Gael and another female surfaced online. There's a video of them driving a the car together and Gael can be clearly heard saying that have you guys ever seen a couple this beautiful? And then there are other explicit videos that are really sexual. It's like somebody just, you know, was releasing these videos like an album. Back to back to back to back. There are like seven videos. I'm not sure I've watched all of the videos because there, there are so many videos, you know. So the resignation letter is standard. The videos leak online a few hours later. And now people are, are confused. A lot of people are speculating that okay, this is probably blackmail. And then the reason why she sent the resignation letter is because she knew that 
these videos were going to leak and she had to get ahead of the story so that they could not use it as a reason to fire her. You get what I'm saying? And people are clamoring for the videos on the internet. People are sharing their opinion. Yes, there are a couple of videos where individually they are using sex toys and then they are massaging each other's legs. But there's a video where they are literally <laughs> having sex. You know. You know, however lesbians have sex. But I found something interesting. It was really interesting to watch. Breath, that's not the point. You know, so it is a lesbian affair and as you know, homosexuality is illegal in Cameroon. So there's a lot of rave going on, not just because it's a sex tape, but because it's a homosexual affair, right? But then, few hours go by and then we get to find out that the two girls in question are ex-lovers, you know, and then people are asking, but how did the sex tape or the sex tapes and the multiple videos find themselves online. Is it Gaia that leaked it herself to get out of the whole political atmosphere with the Fekafu thingy? Is it the ex-girlfriend that leaked it? Or is it an enemy that tried to leak it in order to blackmail Gaia or whatever? While that is happening, a document surfaces online where um, Gaia is filing uh, uh, a complaint against a certain friend, Ahanda Brenda, you know, that she left some belongings at the Brenda's place and she has been trying to collect those belongings for a while but uh, um, Brenda has been dodging. It, those uh, uh, belongings include jewelry, uh, other expensive things, private documents and a tablet that had confidential information in which those videos were found in. You know, so she is saying that or she's insinuating that is the girl in question, Brenda, who leaked those videos. But who is Brenda? Come to find out, Brenda is the ex-girlfriend. Because I, when I saw that communique, I was like, ah, Benange, we get friendies. Only to find out that the Brenda in question is the girl in the sex tapes. You know, so she's literally uh, filing a complaint against her ex-girlfriend for leaking their sex videos, but I don't think that will make any sense There's a video with her legs in the air using a sex toy and Breath she she has more to lose if you're looking at those videos You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't make any sense to me that she will put those videos out there But here's the strange thing the complaint is dated November 1st 2021 Remember the resignation was dated November 4th right but the complaints for the missing for for the for the uh tablets and the stuff that she left at brenda's house is dated november 1st that means that she already knew that these videos were going to go out does that make sense so she knew that these videos were going to go out she filed a complaint and then later on resigned and then the videos finally came out when all of that was done now there is also, you know, an audio or many audios in circulation. It is weird how much I have learned and seen and heard in the past uh, few days. Man, it's crazy. There's an audio in circulation of Brenda, the ex-girlfriend or the ge breath, the other girl in the video, saying how where why guy go do it so guy go really leak the video then they really know the check about you. Why guy go leak the video then it don't make no sense. A boyfriend the vex we how the Brenda her boyfriend is angry with her. So Gael is out there insinuating that Brenda leaked those videos. Brenda is out there blaming Gael for leaking the videos and spoiling her relationship with her boyfriend. And in the midst of all of this, people are on the internet watching videos of two girls having sexual intercourse and going wild. Eventually, we I think we're going to get to the bottom of this. But then, do you know who? <laughs> Do you know who I thought about the moment I saw those videos? Let me tell you. I thought about my very beloved Shakiro Shak Shak Diamond Shak Shak girls. <laughs> I thought about Shakiro, but then Shakiro has been offline for a while. Apparently, from what I heard, he lost his dad, if I'm not mistaken. But then he has been off social media for a long while. You know, I was like, all of this is happening. People are standing solidarity with Gael. 
and all of that. And I'm, of course, of course, like, you know, really, sex tape, lesbianism or not, I really do not care. Nobody has the right to put out your private business like that. You get what I'm saying? Straight or not, lesbian or not, nobody has the right to put out your business like that. So I stand with Kyle and I feel for her and the Brenda for all of them. You get what I'm saying? But there's a deeper issue at hand. People are sympathizing because she's a football star. You know, she has power, she has money, she has brought a lot of glory to Cameroon. But when it was Shakiro, everybody castigated him and said he was a bad example. Shakiro and Patricia, I have to put Patricia in there because in as much as Shakiro had a sex tape years back, Patricia, we don't even know who Patricia was. You know, people were not sympathizing with them. Not only were they arrested and charged for attempted sexuality, they were convicted and sentenced to five years in prison with no proof. I just want to let y'all see the, the dynamic that we are dealing with. But now that it's a couple of females and one is a football star, people are showing support on the internet. You get what I'm saying? And it shows, it speaks on how selective and selective our homophobia and, and how hypocritical the homophobia in Cameroon is. But, you know, I thought about Shakiro and I was... As I was just about filming this video, boom! Coffee with Dilis post on their page that Shakiro, by the way, hi Dilis, what's up? That Shakiro, you know, came online. Mon nom fait quoi dans les affaires de lesbiennes? Je n'étais pas au courant que la célèbre Enanga Mouette a fait le, la sex tape. C'est ma mère chérie, maman Alice Com. Mon avocate qui m'informe de ça, quand c'est Shakiro, on va. J'étais en prison. Voilà une joueuse de footballeur doit montrer le bon exemple. Wow. Le lesbianisme est puni au Cameroun. J'espère qu'elles iront aussi en prison. Minalmi. Quand c'est chacun, on va dire que je suis un poison pour la jeunesse camerounaise. Et Nangamouette est quoi? Shakiro did not miss an opportunity to trend, you know. And what all of that translates to is basically what I mentioned earlier. She's a football star and she's getting sympathy and all that. But when it was Shakiro, everybody, to the point where they beat him, I almost killed him. You get what I'm saying? It's just weird to find that kind of dynamic existing, but I'm not surprised. I really honestly I'm not surprised. It has to do with power, fame, and money. Do you know? Breath, that's what has been happening. For those of you who like explicit videos, go and be asking your friends on WhatsApp. I cannot publish that on this channel. I feel for Gael and Brenda or whatever dynamic they have going on. At the end of the day, the truth will finally come out or people will just get over it and move on. As for Shakiro, Places were quiet, we're breathing, it was better. So that's what's up, man. That's what has been happening. So let us know in the comment section below what do you think? Is this the girl leak the tapes herself? Is it Brenda, the 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 uh, ex-girlfriend? Or is it somebody that's trying to blackmail her and get back at her for you know whatever reason? Maybe the political atmosphere in uh, the Feka Futengi or whatever. Let us know what you think in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching um if you haven't done so already please subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications so you get notified each time new content is uploaded and uh until next episode take very good care of yourselves god bless you ciao